never consider the perils of a seed in the wild. Amid the struggle for survival, seeds often find themselves on the menu for rodents. This predation significantly hampers efforts to restore degraded environments, as the seeds intended for plant establishment get gobbled up. So, how can we protect these seeds and give them a fighting chance to sprout into life? Scientists decided to tackle this problem by testing a variety of seed coating formulations. They experimented with 10 different coatings, each containing a substance thought to deter rodents. These included ghost and cayenne pepper powders, essential oils from bergamot, neem and pine, methyl non-ilcotone, anthraquinone, activated carbon, beta-cyclodextrin, and a blank coating with no deterrents to serve as a control. The chosen test subjects were blue bunch wheatgrass seeds, a resilient plant native to the Western United States. Each of these seeds was coated with one of the 10 formulations and then introduced to the world of Ord's kangaroo rats. Interestingly, the seeds germinated similarly to uncoated seeds unless the coating contained methyl nonyl ketone, which reduced germination. But when it came to the rats, they strongly preferred the uncoated control seeds over the treated ones. Remarkably, even the blank coating, which contained no active deterrents, resulted in a near-complete avoidance of 99%. However, the scientists recognized that their experiment was missing an element of reality. In the wild, alternative food sources aren't always readily available. To simulate this, a second feeding experiment was conducted where the rats were subjected to a fasting period and then offered only one type of treated seed. In these calorie-restricted conditions, the rats did consume the coated seeds, but significantly less than they would control seeds. Seeds coated in ghost pepper, neem oil and activated carbon stood out, reducing consumption by 47-50%. These findings indicate that seed coating formulations can indeed deter rodents and protect seeds from predation. The implications of this are significant for plant establishment. By using these deterrent coatings, we can expect an increase in plant establishment following the direct seeding of wildlands. So, next time you encounter a thriving plant in a restored environment, spare a thought for the journey that seed had to undergo. Thanks to scientific innovation, it might have had a little spicy kick to keep the rodents at bay.